everybody. <laughs> Can you guys hear me now? Oh my goodness. What a trial. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Super excited to be here with you guys. It's sorry we're a few minutes late. Uh, the live button showed that it was working, but it didn't seem like you guys could hear me, so it took me a minute. I think that we are now ready to roll. <laughs> Let me know if you guys um, are able to see and hear me. Now, now I'm going to turn off my phone here. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Bev McCullough of Flamingo Toes and I'm super excited to be here with you guys today as we are starting our tea party so long. Happy 2024! Oh my goodness you guys, sorry about the five minute delay. Um, <laughs> I, uh, you know technology, it's uh, even though I've done this for years now, um, if the computer shows that it's live and it's not actually live, it's a little confusing. <laughs> But I think we're good now. <laughs> oh, you guys, I've missed you all so much. I'm so excited to be here with you. I think it's been since September. I can't remember exactly, but it's been way too long. Our last so long was the Spooky Lane so long. So it was right around Halloween time, I think, or, you know, late fall. But anyway, I've just missed hanging out with you guys. It's been a very busy fall and holiday season, but super lovely. I'm going to tell you guys all about all the things that have been going on. Um, but before I get into all that, we're going to talk about Tea Party. And we're going to talk about making up this really fun quilt together. This is going to be such a fun sew along. You guys are going to love it. We're going to take each step of the quilt, all the different teapots and teacups, and we're going to break them down into easy steps and you guys know I'll have videos every week it's just gonna be a blast but I want to say hi to everyone that's here um, I did all that already but you didn't hear it because I wasn't actually live so let's do it again <laughs> okay so Teresa was here very first comment she was here before our video even started so thank you Teresa for being so ready for our videos I loved seeing that you just made me smile also, she says it's 69 degrees in South Carolina, which I feel is highly unfair because it's like 11 here and snowing and I don't know, um, it's like winter's all happening at once. I'm not thrilled about it. Um, though I like winter, I'm just supposed to go to California tomorrow and I'm really not sure how to get there because I'm an hour-ish away from the airport. And I pulled up like webcams all over the freeway and they're all just white and hardly anybody on them. And it's just not cool. <laughs> so Rebecca's here, Terry, Michelle, Christine is here. I love seeing all your names. You guys are the best. I've missed you all. J.A. Joy, uh, Allison's here from sunny Arizona. Allison's rubbing it in. <laughs> Darlene's here, Wendy, Dolores. Hey, Carrie, Debbie, oh my gosh, Dawn's here, so glad you're here. Lillian's here from snowy Castle Rock, Colorado, love it. Um, Denise, Pamela, so excited. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so fun, you guys. Yes, okay, so here's the comments where I haven't started yet. <laughs> Kimberly says she's drinking a cup of hot coffee after shoveling snow and should be drinking tea instead. We will just say that you can put whatever you like in your teacups for this so long. Coffee, tea, anything else. We're just not going to in any way, shape, or form judge what's in your little teacup, okay? <laughs> Aaron's here. Hey, Aaron, Val. Oh my gosh, I've missed you guys so much. Lucy says it is snowing in Johnson City, Tennessee. Yes, we're buried, right? Oh my goodness, what's even happening? Um, Zakaya, let's see, is am I saying your name right? That's a beautiful name. Sandra's here, first time from Florida. Welcome, Sandra. I'm super excited you're here with us. Um, Manetta's here. Uh, Colleen, yes, I'm supposed to be coming to Road to California tomorrow. Um, I, I don't know <laughs> if that's going to happen or not. Um, I really want to be there. We're just, I'm just, I'm not going to have a booth. I was just going to um, walk the floor and see the show. I've never been. So I uh, was going to do that tomorrow, uh, fly tomorrow, and then be at the show on Wednesday and Thursday. But I don't know. I'm really worried about being able to get to the airport. 
but that's enough about me. Let's talk about sewing. Okay, so you guys, um, if you've been around for my videos before, you know how this works, but I'm going to um, kind of refresh everybody in case this is your first sew along with me. We'll just cover everything. Today we're gonna talk about the Tea Party quilt. We're gonna go over what you're gonna need to sew along with us and how the schedule all is going to work. And we're gonna talk about all this kind of stuff, tips and everything to get you going and ready for our first week of sewing, which is next week. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to update you on other things I'm doing. So in previous sew along videos, I did my updates first and then I sewed up the block, but we're gonna change things up. I want to make sure that if you are just there for the block, that you can catch that part first. And then those of you that want to stay for the sew along updates of other sew alongs I'm doing, other things that are on my website or other sew alongs I'm joining in with, I'm going to put those things at the end of the video. So if you've joined me before, we're just gonna flip flop our format a little bit, which um, you know all the information will still be there. We will just, um, do it opposite of each other. <laughs> so it's gonna be really fun. So we are starting our sew along today and to join in with the Tea Party quilt, you do need to purchase the pattern. You can find that in my shop or in other quilt shops and you can sew along with my afternoon tea fabric, which I'm going to show you guys all the prints in today after we talk about the sew along. Um, or you can sew from your stash, you can purchase another collection that you have really been wanting to make up. Anything that you like, you can sew along with us. I'd love for you to use afternoon tea, <laughs> but there's no requirements for that. And I love seeing it made up in other fabrics, so no worries. We definitely still wanna see um, your photos and progress as we go through the sew along. So there is a kit for this quilt. Riley Blake um, made up a kit. Look at this beast of a box. It's very heavy. So it comes um, in this really nice sturdy box and it has a cute sleeve on it with the quilt on the front. And then here, let me, why am I holding this up? <laughs> Let's look at it together on the table. <laughs> Okay, here we go. So this is the Tea Party um, quilt box, and it I love the Riley Blake boxes. They are super sturdy, and you can use them for storage of your blocks as you go, like you can keep everything super tidy all in one place, and then after you've made the quilt, you can use the box for anything. I like to use them for like progress, like sew along progress boxes, so I can kind of keep them in my sewing room and I have like all my RBD block challenge block box it blocks in one, all of my, you know, shine together, whatever sew along I'm doing, and then I can keep it tidy that way. So you can use it for however you'd like. So the cute sleeve has all the little teacups on it, and then it talks about it has a picture of the quilt on the back, and then it talks about what's included in the kit, um, the quilt size, and you get in the kit all the fabric to make the quilt top plus the binding. So you'll have to pick up your own backing, um, but that's easy to do. So this is available in stores now. Um, I have a few kits left and you can find them in stores. In today's video, I've linked to um, shops that are carrying afternoon tea and a lot of them do have the tea party kit. There are no tea party kits at Riley Blake anymore. So they're all in stores. If you want a kit, you want to pick it up from a store, either my store or somebody else's store, um, right away because once they sell out, that's it. You'll have to like piece together. It's not hard to piece together the the you know binding and the border and all that kind of stuff, but um, it's a whole lot easier if you want to sew with afternoon tea and to pick up the kit. So definitely uh, grab that if you would like to have a kit. <laughs> Let's see, uh, I wanna make sure I'm not missing any questions. Dawn, I know it has been a really long time. Lillian, is it in the kit? The pattern is in the kit. So if you are buying the kit, it will come with the pattern, if, if that's what you're asking. Pamela says she got her kit for Christmas. She had to go through and pet the fabric in ooh and ah, yay. <laughs> oh, let's see, Rose says, um, Catherine from Hutchison, Kansas, here to enjoy your video with temps at seven degrees and ice after a seven inch snow and four degree temps. It's like that here. It's so great. 
right now, but not so great for airport trips. We'll see. <laughs> Debbie said she got her kit. Oh, Sandra said she got a kit. Oh, yay. Love it. Okay, so that's what we'll need. Let's talk about schedule. Um, here, well, one sec, all. <laughs> I don't know what happened here. Okay. So the schedule's not there. <laughs> it was there when, uh, we're having some technological issues. Um, on my website, it's the link, uh, the top link in the video description today is the schedule. So we're kicking off today. No sewing this week. This will be just um, getting your fabrics, making sure you have your pattern and everything that you need. And then we will start next week with the teapot blocks and so we'll go each week through the blocks of the kit of the pattern so we'll do the teapot the first week and then the kit the cups are divided into different styles and ways they're stacked and stuff like that so then it'll be the teacup a teacup b etc and we'll go all the way through including the really cute pieced like shelf border i wanted the quilt to kind of have a look that's sort of like almost like a china cabinet you know with your pretty little edging on your shelves and that kind of thing. So that's what I was going for when I designed it. Um, so we'll take each step of that through the sew along. So we're gonna cover all that. Um, so this week is just really getting your fabric ready. I don't have a cutting guide yet for this. I'm going to do that today and I'll get it on the website and I'll make sure I put links to it in our Facebook group and then moving forward, I'll have links to it in our weekly videos. So if you want to cut your kit out exactly as shown on my sample. You can do that. You don't have to. You can definitely um, make it your own and do it however you like. But if you would like to make it exactly the same, I will have a cutting guide for you regarding that. So next week will be teapots and we will go over how to assemble the teapots. There are four of them in the quilt and so we'll go that way. Um, <laughs> Gina, I believe there is enough fabric to starch. I am not a starcher, but there is fabric. There's not any of the fat quarters that are super tight as far as that. So I believe you should be fine starching. Um, hi, Janice. <laughs> Sherry says she has her kit. Yay, that's awesome. Yay, Sherry. Um, so that's really all you need to know this week as far as I've got links in the video description for you Like I said straight to the pattern if you want to buy just the pattern um, Or the kit I have links for you to all the fabulous shops that are carrying afternoon tea and also um, The kits and patterns and things like that. I have a couple other quilts that I designed to go with afternoon tea We're going to talk about those in a little bit and I'm going to show you the fabrics in the collection because I would really like to um, show you some of the different details in afternoon tea, so we'll do that. Um, I wanna make sure before we go on to anything else, does anybody have any questions? Oh, I have one more thing I wanted to say. In some of the photos, um, let me switch cameras here for you. The quilt pattern is written so that as you can see behind me there's a background border outside the print border and you can see it here so you can see the binding kind of stands out from it that means that there's a background border outside the print border that is included in the kit and the way the pattern instructions are written you can make your quilt either way some people don't like those background borders around the print borders that's entirely up to you but i did want to let you all know that that extra background border is included in the kit and the pattern are written that way we'll go over that again at the end of the sew along with all the um border information and stuff that we'll touch on in the end so i think that that's all um <laughs> that we need to go over for the kit and for the sew along, but let's talk about fabric. And if you guys have kit and sew along questions, please throw them in the comments and I will watch for them, okay? Uh, Mona, says, uh, Mona says she loves the quilt behind me. Thank you, that's the quilt that we are gonna sew up in this sew along. It's just gonna be a blast. <laughs> hey Tessa, so glad you're here. Sherry says she hopes her quilter is fixed and up and running by this time the sew along is finished. <laughs> Me too. Oh, the other thing I wanted to let you guys know is that I do have 
three wide back fabrics that I designed for afternoon tea that are arriving in store soon. They match the collection perfectly. As soon as I get them, I will show them to you. But they are really gorgeous and they will look beautiful on your the backgrounds of your the backings of your quilts. They're 108 inch wide. They have the florals and the colors of afternoon tea. But they're also there has some really cute different um, tea recipes. So you can make your own like fun tea lattes or different things like that with the recipes that are on the back of the that are on the backings. So as soon as those get here, I will keep you guys updated every week on their progress. I'm checking in with our Riley Blake all the time as far as um, those there was just a delay with the printing and you guys know manufacturing is <laughs> is a subject to all sorts of things so uh, we're still waiting on those but as soon as they get here I will let you guys know so shall we take a look at afternoon tea I would love to show you guys the fabrics are you ready to see so let's uh, do that um, all the other thing we should do this first no let's see let's talk about afternoon tea I will tell you that every week we are going to have a giveaway and um, it's just my way of thanking you guys. So towards the end of this video, just hang around because you don't wanna miss this week's giveaway. It's really fun. Okay, so afternoon tea. You guys know that I am a huge tea drinker. I love it, I live for it. <laughs> I have it all day, every day, that's my thing. And so this is a collection that I really wanted to design to show how much I love tea, but also just for fun like you do not have to be a tea drinker to love these fabrics um, they're really fun just by themselves in fact a couple of them are pretty tea related but the rest of them are just pretty florals that go together with the collection so if you don't like tea and want to leave those out you could sub them out you know for other complementary fabrics so this is one of the main florals for afternoon tea. It's one of my favorites. It's a really pretty like blush background and it has these fun like darker coral blues, um, some aquas, and then this really great kind of almost sagey green. It's called Lodgepole at Riley Blake, but I really love this green because it's such a nice mid green and um, uh, yes, Purpose Driven Life. I did say a backing with tea recipes on it. That will be um, coming soon. So I'll let you guys know as soon as those are in stores. But this is the one of the mains. I'm going to show you the other two colorways. But the reason I brought the bolt out is I wanted you to see the selvage. And if you don't have any yardage of afternoon tea, you'll want to pick some up. Because look at this selvage, you guys. Oops, you can't see it. Here, this is the selvage. How cute are the little teapots and teacups? Aren't they fun? So you can pick up a little bit of selvage and a little bit of yardage and use them in some fun projects. <laughs> I, I just wanna do a selvage project. Has anybody done a selvage project? What did you make if you did? I've seen really cute like bags and things like that, so I'm not really sure what to make. Okay, so in afternoon tea, I'm just gonna open up these fabrics so you can see them all. One of the other mains is this really pretty, like kind of a darker cream color. Um, oh, you guys, thank you. I'm so glad you like the colors. So it comes in this darker cream color. It's a little bit darker than white, so we're gonna use it as one of the teapots to show off these really pretty florals. It still is dark enough that it'll show up against a white background. So. Don't worry about that. Um, it comes in one of my favorite blues. Look at this blues, you guys. Isn't this fun? And it's got these pretty like white details and these lovely like light. Um, let's see if you can see some of the details there. So we've got blues, whites, and we have this fun blush color. Here we go. So that's. Those are the main florals. Let's see, Anita says she made a little pot holder with selvages. How cute. I love that idea. Um, one of my other favorite prints, okay, so they're my prints, right? I made them, I love them all. So I'll say that over and over again. <laughs> but this is the tea labels print. And this thing took me forever to design, you guys. So it's all sorts of different 
tea labels like you can see it says tea time it says orange pico they're all going different directions so it's a directional print a, a multi-directional print um chamomile green tea oolong so there's lots of different labels there so that comes in like a corally color it comes in this gorgeous dark blue maybe you can read them a little bit better there isn't that a fun print so it comes in this blue and then this great kind of medium green and then there is a little sketchy floral kind of a line floral this is it's looking kind of washed out on the screen let me see if i can get up closer so it's a really pretty coral and it just has fun teacups it has um let me show you one of the other colorways because it's kind of washing out here it looks really pretty in this like darker green there was there's like a little time for tea bag there is a very tiny kitty <laughs> i just had to include her and it's on this like really sweet um kind of almost sketched grass cloth sort of bark cloth background and that comes also in this dark blue with all the little sketches and then of course we have a tiny floral it has um, little tiny flowers and bows is very sweet some little leaves <laughs> Oh, you guys like it. Thank you. Kimberly says the blueprint with the tea labels is so cute. And I think Allison said, what did Allison say? Oh, Allison says such a great collection. Thank you. Pamela said such a unique print. She loves the blue. Dorothy says she bought yardage of the blue. Her husband is an assistant grocery manager and wants a shirt from the blue fabric. Well, how great is that, Dorothy? Will you post a, fa a photo in the group when you make that? I would love to see it. This is like a dark red, again, washing out. The snow is doing weird things to the lighting in here. And then it comes in that soft, pretty pink with little red bows. And we can't have a tea collection without tea leaves. So we have some, some prints that have just some really soft, small leaves on them with tiny little flowers. So we have that, and it's a light background, but there's enough going on with it that it'll still show up in your blocks, so it won't kind of wash out your blocks. Um, this one, whoops, this one, we're waiting on that one. So that comes in the off-white, it comes in that pale blush, and it comes in that really great kind of sagey green. Those are all the tea leaves. Dawn likes the kitty in a teacup. <laughs> <laughs> she made some for a craft sale for her rescue. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I also designed a cross-stitch pattern. So if you look closely, the roses and the flowers look like they're cross-stitched. And we are going to have some brand new cross-stitch patterns that are going to come out in about two weeks. These are very fun. Um, and then another one in a few more weeks. But um, all I have to do is get the framing and get the patterns made on them. So I'm really excited about these. If you guys are cross-stitchers, I hope that you'll love them. Um, so the cross-stitch print comes in that cream, it comes in a green, and then a pretty blush. And then I also have, this is one of my favorite little prints. It's just a little blender print, but if you look really closely, you can see that the connectors between the flowers are tiny teaspoons. So between each flower is a little teaspoon and it kind of points to the other teaspoons. So this is a cute little like dark coral. This is kind of an aqua color with the navy spoons. And um, then this is the great sagey green. So it looks almost like a trellis, right? But then when you get closer to it, you can see the little flowers and spoons. I love cross-stitching too, Debbie, yay! Oh, I'm excited that you guys are excited. And then I made a really fun gingham. These look great straight or cut on the bias. I'm cutting mine on the bias for my bindings because I love the look of a diagonal gingham. 
but there's a little stitching line through the gingham so when you look at it up close you can see that it's got kind of a little running stitch all the way through it so that is really fun that comes in that lighter kind of aqua color it comes in the dark blue but it's kind of a medium dark blue like almost like faded and then it comes in the corals and this is the coral is what we're binding our tea party quilt in so you can see the cute stitching through there so those are the fabrics of afternoon tea so you can see how fun those prints are going to look with our our pattern right like all the different tea elements will just be so cute in the teacups and things like that so that is the tea party fabrics but also with afternoon tea the afternoon tea fabrics i designed a panel and you guys are gonna have so much fun making up these projects so this is the panel let me put you over here and i'll hold it up so it comes like when you buy the panel it comes like this it's about a yard of fabric but there's all these projects on it so let me go back and show you there is this is our tea cozy this is our mug rug there are four really cute little coasters and so the front of the coaster and then the coordinating back of the coaster the tea cozy even has binding at the bottom of it and I'm going to show you the real projects here soon and then there is a tea wallet and this is perfect to put in your bag to hold your um, tea sachets. And then there are two little teacups here. I had to fill every available space. You guys would have so many projects. And these two little teacups are appliques. So you can put them on anything that you would like. Um, I put them on dish towels because I love tea things in my kitchen, but you could put them on bags. You could make them, um, put them on a sweatshirt or a jacket or something like that. I just totally wired that up. <laughs> so let me show you what they look like when they're made up. So this is the tea cozy. It comes with this little, there's this little ring at the top, not a ring, but a little fabric that you can have a hook so you can hang it if you want or grab it when you're taking it on and off your teapot. The um, lining is a little wrinkled because this has been in a box, <laughs> but the lining is included so you get the front and the back of the tea cozy, front and lining and the back of course. That's what the back looks like. I added a little bit of pom-pom trim to mine. Obviously that doesn't come on the panel. You can use anything you'd like. It would be really cute with Rick Rack on here or anything like that. And then I added, before I quilted it, I added a little bit of stitching to the front. So I just took the elements of the tea cozy. Let me show you here. These elements right here. And I just embroidered on top of them just as they are. I just took it like a pattern. And so I um, stitched out the flowers. I put French knots in the center of these daisies. And then I put little French knots along the teapot. So I just added some little fun elements to the cozy then um, here's the mug rug and you could do the same thing with the mug rug if you would like um, oh I said the wrong thing the binding is for the mug rug not for the um, the cozy that one comes as is you don't have to add the palm trim you can just sew it up like it is you will want to add probably some batting because the point of a tea cozy is to keep your tea warm. <laughs> so you'll just want to add, this is perfect for like batting scraps or if you have fusible fleece, something like that. So, and all the instructions are on the panel. So this is the front and the back of the tea cozy. So you can see how cute that looks. And I just kind of quilted it with some cross line quilting on this side and some meandering quilting. So it looks pieced together, but it's all one piece. It's so easy to make you guys. I want to make sure um, Mona asked where can you get the fabrics you need oh so on the um, description of today's video you can find links to either my shop or other shops carrying afternoon tea fabrics so you can get all the fabrics you need um, the green is your favorite case yeah, Sandra um, Gina said to be sure to show the needle minder that matches oh I will <laughs> that's coming next <laughs> 
Sherry said she just did her first cross stitch. Oh, yay. Dolores bought the panel. Love it. Oh, um, Purpose Driven Life said her mom had, uh, his or her mom had an amazing collection of strawberry fabric, so she's using that. Oh, I love it. That's so great. Dorothy says she's almost done with the mug rug. She added some beading to it. Love it. That's very fun. Sandra, yes, you definitely need the panel. I'm so glad you like the cozy. Um, Dolores, I, I will do tutorials. All the instructions are on the panel, but I can do a tutorial on those. I'm so glad you like them. Um, so for the coasters, like I said, this is the front of the coaster, and then the back of the coaster is the same fabric, so you'll match up like coaster one, coaster, you know, the front, and then the back. So you'll match them all up. That comes with four different coasters. The On the coaster fabric, you can see that the running stitch is printed on there, so you can leave it like it is. But before stitching it, I just um, stitched it down with a little bit of, sorry, that got blurry a second there. I stitched it down with some embroidery floss. So it has a little bit of extra texture. Um, and then for quilting, all I did was I quilted around the elements. So I just went with my machine and quilted around it. You can see on the back basically the outline of the teapot. But I didn't do any other quilting other than that. These are so small. Oh, and I did stitch around once I turned them right side out. I stitched inside the edge. So they're really easy to do. And to be honest, on these, if you didn't stitch down, it's not like you would really tell the difference. <laughs> it's really small stitching. So um, if you don't want to do that stitching, you don't have to. And then these are the little tea towels that I made for the appliques. So I bought these tea towels off of Amazon. I can put a link in next week's video or I can go back and add it this week to the tea towels on Amazon. It was a set of four and they had this kind of sagey green coloring in them so they went perfectly with the fabrics. So I just appliqued, I put them on like a fusible webbing and then I just did a very tiny zigzag stitch around them. So I stitched them down and then I added a ruffle this is actually like a peaches, peaches and cream blossom. I didn't, when I made these, I didn't have my fabric yet. So I just added a solid, well not solid, but a blossom ruffle to the bottom. You can see how cute that looks with it though. And then I just stitched down the teacups on there. So they look really great on the towels, but you can also um, put them, like I said, on anything else. So that is the panel. Oh, and there's also a tea wallet which um, I have um, lent to someone else, so I don't have that to show you guys, but it's just like a little credit card wallet that you put the tea bags in um, so that you can take tea on the road. I do that all the time. Um, I always order hot water in restaurants because hardly any of them have tea, um, and so I just have my own tea bags. <laughs> I just take them. So the other thing that I designed and you can find in my shop or in other shops are um, the needle minders or the enamel charm that coordinate with afternoon tea. So they are a, um, if you're not familiar with a needle minder, they are um, very strong magnets. There are two magnets. One is glued to the backside of the, the cute front and then the other is loose and they go on your work surface and they hold the needle. Here's a block I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. But they go like this and you put the magnet on the back and you rest your needle on there or you can even rest small scissors. They're very strong. You can see that the scissors don't fall off. Um, and they can rest your needle there when you're not stitching. So these are great for um, all sorts of needlework, of course, um, embroidery, cross-stitch, anything like that. But they're great for binders, uh, for quilters too, because a lot of people use them for paper piecing or for binding. If you're binding, you can actually put it on your clothes and wear it and then rest your needle there when you're not, you know, as you're moving your needle down or your, your um, binding clips or whatever. So this is the needle minder. It's the Roses Tea Set Needle Minder. And then it also comes in... A enamel charm so it's got a very cute little teapot on a gold lobster clasp 
and you can, um, it's just gold on the back side. And you can put that on your bags or you can put it on your keys. Um, just hang it off of your purse or on you. If you have like a work bag or something like that, it would look super cute. And these are in my shop or in other quilt shops. You can check them out. Um, if you're buying, you know, from Fat Quarter Shop, they carry my whole line. Um, so you can pick them up from them. Um, so these are fun and they're designed and it's a whole, it's a set. So it's like all one. I'm sorry, it's not a set. It's all one. So it's the teacup with the little spoon and then the roses tea set. And this is a little nod to one of the um, tea, one of the cross stitch patterns that is going to come out here in the next couple weeks. So if you like this design, I think you'll like the cross stitch pattern, one of the cross stitch patterns. So let me um, check my comments here. I'm so glad you guys like the panel. Yay. <laughs> Let's see, so Joyce says she just ordered the panel. It said there were only two left. Made sure to grab one, phew. Okay, so I have, a, I can adjust my amount. I have a few, I just ordered another bolt of the panel and I can order more if you guys um, sell me out today. But definitely check that list. It's afternoon tea shops in today's video description. If I'm sold out, or even if I'm not, please, please, please visit these shops and buy up all the panels from them. I know Fat Quarter Shop has them, Missouri Star has them, um, and then there's a bunch of other shops that have them as well, um, Happy Little Stitch, all that. So check out those other shops and pick up their panels, please. <laughs> Debbie says she loves needle minders when she's cross-stitching, yay! Oh, Pamela says I need to make dangle earrings with a teapot and cup, okay, I love that idea. I love that. We'd have to figure out how to make them a little bit lighter because I don't think I'd want to hang the weight of that um, the weight of the thing from my ear at this point. Rebecca says she loves her needle minders. Yay, Rebecca. Uh, Dolores says she wanted to make her friend Jane the panel item. She was the one who got her hooked on hot tea when we worked together. She drinks hot tea all day. Yay, I love it. Dawn says, lost her scissors yesterday, should have used my needle minder. <laughs> okay, well, let's be honest, we're all losing our scissors all the time, right? That's why it's a very good idea to have like 75 pairs of small embroidery scissors. I can count on my work table right here, which is admittedly a mess, I will confess to you guys, I can see four pairs of embroidery scissors. <laughs> I, I just get little jonesy if I don't have a lot of those within reach because I use them all the time on things. <laughs> oh, Joy said it was back quarter shop she bought it from. Perfect. That's great, Joy. Okay, well, if you guys um, want to buy your panel or your um, anything from Fat Quarter Shop and they're sold out, go ahead and click that little notify me when it's back in stock. That lets them know, one, that you want it, but two, it also sends you an email from them when they get it back in stock. So it's a super helpful little tool they have on their website. I use it all the time because <laughs> there's always new stuff coming out. They're really good about putting like coming soon stuff out. So I'm always like clicking that and adding my email to, to, to be notified. <laughs> hey, April, I'm glad you're here. So glad. And you're going to do the sew along with your mom. Oh, I love it. Okay. So that is all the information about afternoon tea and about, um, the sew along and the panel and stuff like that. So we're, I'm going to show you guys, let's do giveaway. And then I'm gonna show you guys the sew alongs that I'm currently doing right now. And then we'll be done for the week and back next week for sewing. I'm very excited. Okay, so every week I have a giveaway. Um, it is not always a very big giveaway, but it is a giveaway to tell you guys basically how much I appreciate you sewing along. I know there's a bajillion sew alongs going on all the time. It's very hard to choose. I want to do them all. Um, and I can't, <laughs> um, I need to clone myself, I've decided. Um, but I just, I just, we just have the best community here and I love it. And you guys are the reason why, because you are all super kind, super encouraging, and we have so much fun sewing together. So these little giveaways are my way of saying, hey, thanks for being awesome. Um, so, but because it's our kickoff video, we have to do a really big giveaway, right? So this is a big honking giveaway, you guys. <laughs> So 
My giveaways are super easy to enter. All you have to do is leave a comment on the YouTube video you're watching right now. You can do it whether you're watching live or whether you're watching later in the week. Just do it before the next Monday's video because that Monday I will announce the winner from the previous week. So if you've commented on this video, make sure you check out next week's video to see if you are the winner. I can't hunt everybody down. So I will call your name if you are the winner and tell you how to get a hold of me and then you'll send me an email and it'll be awesome. So are you guys ready to see the prize? Do you have guesses? Okay, here we go. That was probably a really weird face. Nobody freeze your cameras when I make weird faces, okay? I mean your laptops. It's a vow we all make together not to freeze Bev's face when she makes weird faces, okay? Nobody needs to see that in their lives. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I want to miss. Okay. Purpose Driven Life said, isn't there something metal one can put needle minders on for decoration? So I do have a um, needle minder board in my shop. Lots of shops have it too. It is a magnetic chalkboard that you can rest your needle minders on when you're not using them. So it's super cute. Okay. Are you guys ready? Look at this. I have for you guys upside down fat quarter bundles. <laughs> so I have a fat quarter bundle of afternoon tea for you because I love you so much. And I have an afternoon, no, um, a hush hush three fat quarter bundle. This is, I'm gonna talk about this in a minute, um, but this is the current low volume collection from Riley Blake Designs. If you guys are new to me, I am a Riley Blake designer. I am so proud to be one. Um, and so all of our fabrics that we will be showing, all the fabrics I show on here are Riley Blake Designs fabrics. Um, so this is Hush Hush 3. Riley Blake puts out a about one a year, a low volume collection. All of the fabrics in here are low volume, which just means they're light backgrounds with a very tiny print that you can use as backgrounds. And they all are designed by different Riley Blake designers, but they all look fabulous together. I don't know why, but that's how, well, I know why, because Riley Blake um, puts together the bundles, and so we all design them, but they look great. So this is a fat corner bundle of 21 different low volume fabrics, each one designed by a different Riley Blake designer. And mine, I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. Um, I'll show you guys in a minute. You can just wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, in addition to this, I am going to give away a panel um, from Afternoon Tea. Not this particular panel because I've unfolded it and refolded it a whole bunch of times. But so you will get the two fat quarter bundles and the Afternoon Tea panel. And that will be the prize. I'm so excited for you. So make sure you tune in next week. Leave a comment on today's video. I can tell how many people are watching, but I can't tell who is watching until you leave a comment. So that is your entry. I take all the comments and I put them in a random number generator and then I go through and I count all the, I count my way down in the comments and that is how I pick our winners. So it's very random, um, but you have to leave comments. And then I guess the more comments you leave, the more entries it is because I just take the whole number, not by the person. So not that I want you to comment just like nonsense stuff, please, because that won't count. But every comment you make counts. So. You guys, I'm losing my voice because I haven't done videos in three months and I'm out of practice. I don't know about that. We just have to get back into the groove, all of us together. Okay, so that is the prize. And that is all of our afternoon tea, tea party updates. So now I wanna got, update you guys on sew alongs that I'm joining in with that are not being run by me. Um, they're just updates and you guys can join in. I would love for you to. So the first one I want to show you guys is the first block in the, it's very blurry. Let's see if we can get this to, there we go. No, it doesn't like it. Let's see. Uh, it doesn't like it. I'll hold it up. I don't know why it's just being contrary. Um, this is the first block. Here, let's see if we can do this. Ah, look at that. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. Oh, you guys um, are excited about the, um, the giveaways. I'm so glad. April, I showed the whole panel just a little bit ago, so if you go back after the video's done and 
rewind it a little bit, um, you'll be able to see the whole panel and all the projects in the panel. Oh, Carrie, you're very sweet. <laughs> okay, so Riley Blake does a free sew along every January. It kicks off. Every block in it is designed by different Riley Blake designers. It's called the RBD Block Challenge, and they're really fun. They, um, it's every week a block is released except for, and they're on Tuesdays, but it's not the last Tuesday of the month. So the last Tuesday of every month is a catch up week. So if you haven't had a chance to sew up the block, if you've gotten behind, which admittedly happens to all of us, then you can take that time to sew up. So it will go until May and at the end, they release a layout for all the blocks. It's different every year. But the awesome thing about it is that all the blocks are the same size as the previous RBD block challenge. They're all 10 and a half unfinished. So if there's a block you don't like, you can sub it out for, you know, we've done this for, this is the fourth year, I think, or fifth year. Um, so you can sub it out for one of the previous years. Same with the layout. Um, if you don't like the layout, you can come up with your own layout or you can use one of the previous year's layouts. And the other cool thing is it's all free. So this last Tuesday, um, a few days ago, well, a week ago, Tuesday, was the first week and the first designer block was Lori Holt. This is her Vintage Delight block. It's so cute. Um, the fun thing about this is Riley Blake is sewing the blocks up in some of their batiks and in their confetti cotton, so you'll see it two different ways. But then the designers are making up their blocks in their own fabrics or their own basic or something like that. So I am sewing along with afternoon tea for this one. Um, I will definitely always label my sew along information so you don't get confused between this and our tea party, but I will tell you none of the RBD block challenge blocks are teacups or teapots, so that'll make it easier for you to tell the difference. So it's a really gorgeous block. It looks complicated with these little half square triangle things that are happening here, but it's not. It's super easy to do. So definitely um, join in with us. I am using, so I said I'm gonna use afternoon tea, but I'm also using one of my new uh, low volumes for Dainty Daisy, and we're gonna talk about Dainty Daisy next week. But this is the peony flower on the cloud background. There's just little speckles, and they look so cute. It's just like little dots almost, uh, but they're really tiny little daisies. So Dainty Daisy is my basic with um, Riley Blake Designs. So that is uh, linked in today's video description. You can find all the blocks on my website. Right now there's just one. Tomorrow is the second block, and guess whose block it is? It's mine. <laughs> so I can't wait for you guys to see it. It's a really fun block to sew up, and again, it'll be in afternoon tea fabrics. So hopefully we'll give you guys some information, inspiration if you have extra afternoon tea that you would like to sew with. Yes, and I fussy cut the center. Oh, who noticed that? Um, I'm sorry, I just saw it. Oh, Karen noticed, yeah. So I took that tea label print and I found one that kind of fit as the center. There's a thread, ignore the thread. But I picked that little signature tea and it just barely <laughs> fit in that block. I lost a little bit of my E, but I think it still looks really cute. <laughs> Pamela, thank you. She said using all the fabrics will be so cool to see the different looks. Oh, thank you guys. Okay, so that is one of the free sew-alongs Riley Blake has got going on. The other one is a brand new one to celebrate Hush Hush 3. It's called the Shine Together Quilt, and unlike the RBD Block Challenge, which is a mystery quilt, that means that you won't know what the blocks look like until it's released each week, and same with the layout, except there is, if you go to the Raleigh Blake website, there is a link you can click if you don't want to be surprised. But I love the mystery of it. Um, this is a different quilt. This is to celebrate Hush Hush 3. It's a quilt called Shine Together, and it is made up of all these great star blocks that have pieced centers well, all the people that joined in with Hush Hush 3, the designers, well, most of them, created an alternative center to the star block. So the center is a six inch square piece. And so those of us that participated have offered some alternatives. So you can make the pattern up as written. It's free to download right now on the Riley Blake website, or you can choose one of the free six inch centers 
that uh, are going to be released over the next couple months. And this will go from now through March. It's not as long of a sew along. And last week was the first week. And this is my center that I released. It's called Diamond Bright. And it's a really cute little almost diamond 3D block. And for the background, I used my print from Hush Hush 3. And it's called Scallop Sketches or Sketching Scallops. I can't remember which word is first. But it's these little lines that are soft pink and they're little scalloped lines. So you can see it a little bit better here in the Hush Hush 3 fabric. Isn't that fun? I just love the way it looks in the block. So it's just a really sweet, soft background. Hush Hush 3 is in stores now. I'm gonna show you a few of these. Um, they're hard to see. Um, but this one is really cute. This is Christopher Thompson's. I don't remember who designed all of them, but his are little popsicles. And then there are, I'm just gonna show you a few others of these. This is some little cherries. I love this one. Look at these, some different little like quilting sewing elements. Tiny floral. Pretty sure that's Amy Smarts. This is Jennifer Long's. These are little apples. Really cute little apples. Some little mushrooms. Pinwheels. <laughs> so you can see that they're fun little low volumes that are, I think Amanda has a cat one in here. Does hers cats? I can't remember what she did this year. There's just some really great, you can see that they're all light colors, um, but they're all, they all just look so sweet together. Oh, I think this is Amanda's this year. These sweet little leaves. Um, so lots of options for you guys. And so you can join in and sew along with that one. It's called Shine Together. I have it linked in today's video description. And you can print out the pattern now and kind of make up the blocks as you go and see what you want to sub out with all the different blocks. I'm going to sew along um, each week. Um, Sorry about that. I'm going to sew along each week sharing some of the alternative blocks as well. And I'm going to do that with Dainty Daisy. I'm using the low volumes from Hush Hush 3. And then I'm going to use my new colors of Dainty Daisy, new and old, um, as the blocks. So I'll be sharing those with you guys each week as well. So that's some fun stuff that you can find on the website. There's just lots going on. I feel like in January, I want to sew all the things. Like through like the holidays, I'm kind of like hunkering down like this is family time. But then once January comes, I'm like, okay, I need to make 18 million projects at once. So, <laughs> all right, you guys, I had a blast hanging out with you today. I had so much fun. I've missed every single one of you. And I'm really excited to make up the tea party quilt with you guys. We will start next week with our video tutorial on how to make the teapots. I'm going to walk you through the assembly. I'll have cutting tips. If you want to wait and cut after you sew the video, that's fine. If you want to cut them out before you sew the video so you're ready to sew, that's okay too. Whatever works for you. We're very easy around here. <laughs> um, and then I will also have that cutting guide for you on the website before, um, before next week. So I will link to it in the video description next week, but I'll also have it I'll share the link to it in the my Facebook group. If you are not in my Facebook group, Facebook group, please join. The link is at the bottom. Um, we share all sorts of fun projects, lots of updates. Everybody will be sharing their tea party blocks and their fabric, right, everybody? <laughs> so we can see how it's all going. We want to see, even if you're all sewing in afternoon tea, we want to see. So um, definitely share. Don't be afraid to share because we are a very nice community. We're super supportive of each other. So there's no reason to feel like your blocks aren't as good as everybody else's. We don't do that around here either. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you for hanging out with me on Monday on our MLK holiday. I hope you guys are having a good day. Please stay warm. Um, I will see you next Monday. Same time, Mondays, 2 p.m. Central. I will be back here and we will get to sew together. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I've missed you bunches. Talk to you later. Bye.